Kentucky all the way to 1971, when our founder said, industrial development should not result in destruction of the natural environment or, and to me this is a crucial idea, make people miserable. So we've been following that philosophy ever since. And in 1991, that resulted in the Environmental Charter, where Panasonic dedicated itself to maintaining the balance of nature. And then 2007, that was followed up with the Eco Ideas Declaration, where we said all of our products are going to be environmentally conscious, all of our production is going to be environmentally conscious, and we individually, each of us, is also going to be environmentally aware. And now in 2009 came the Environmental Innovation Company. Panasonic is aiming to be the number one electronics environmental innovation company by its 100th anniversary in 2018. That's our goal. Now, how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we're going to become an energy company. Panasonic is now going to help you create, store, save, and even manage your own energy. So in order to do that, we're going to need some partners. And so Panasonic acquired Sanyo. Now Sanyo has a lot of expertise in batteries as well as solar power generation. And Panasonic, of course, has tons of experience in batteries and also all of its expertise in being a consumer product creator. So two of the things we created are solar power generators and residential fuel cells to help you make your own energy. So let's look at these energy creating abilities. Two items, solar power generator and the whole fuel cell. Let's look at the solar powder. Now this uses HIP technology by Sanyo. And what that means is it's several very, very, very thin layers of silicon. And when the sunlight hits it, it makes electricity with absolutely no carbon dioxide emissions whatsoever. And of course, sunlight is a completely renewable resource. The sun keeps shining and the solar panels keep making more electricity. And now they're very efficient. Each cell harvests almost 19% of the sun's energy and turns that directly into electricity. Amazing. But of course, the sun is not always shining, so you're gonna to need to have a supplemental, complementary fuel source as well. So that is where Panasonic has proposed you have a residential fuel cell. Now, it is a co-generation plant, so not only does it provide one kilowatt of electricity, it also holds 200 liters of hot water, which it needs. So, how does it do both electricity and hot water at the same time? It actually uses the concept of the hydrogen fuel cell it utilizes. It. Now, in a fuel cell, you take hydrogen, which in this case we're extracting from natural gas, and you combine it with oxygen from the outside air, and inside the fuel cell, there's a chemical reaction, which gives you three results. One, electricity. Well, that's good, because that's what we were trying to do in the first place. Two is water, which is excellent, because it means it is a very clean reaction. You get water from it. And the third is heat. Now, if you were doing that far away from your home at a traditional power plant, that heat would just dissipate into the air and you wouldn't be able to use it. But since you're doing it at home, you can capture that heat and use it to heat your hot water. And so you can have a nice bubbly jacuzzi spa bath courtesy of your electrical generator. Just because you were trying to make electricity, you got hot water. It's just a bonus. It's sort of a waste product, a byproduct, and you're gonna use it to your benefit. So let's look a little bit closer at what happens inside of the fuel cell. Here comes the natural gas. And now there's already a natural gas infrastructure. So we're just tapping into your new current utility company. It's already existing, we're going to use it. The methane goes into the fuel processor and comes out as hydrogen. Now the hydrogen meets up with the oxygen inside of the fuel cell stack. In there, there's a chemical reaction and out comes electricity. We send that to the inverter and it goes to your home as standard AC. It's your regular household current. So now you can plug in your Viera plasma or your Blu-ray display or any of the toys that you have in your home. They can be powered off of your household hybrid, I mean, excuse me, hydrogen fuel cell. Incredible. But of course we said it made not only electricity, it also made heat. So what do we do with the heat? We send the heat down to a heat exchanger, put in some cold water, and out comes hot water. And now we've made 200 liters, 
53 gallons of hot water, 149 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 degrees Celsius. So now we can take a nice steamy shower or a bath or run it through pipes underneath the tile in our bath with little toasty little toes. Thanks to just a byproduct of our electrical generator. So it's an incredibly efficient way of accessing the power using everything that that natural gas has to offer. If you were creating electricity out of traditional thermal power plant, they would burn the fuel and they would get about 35 to 40% electrical efficiency. They would convert about that percentage of that fuel's potential into electricity and the rest would be sent away into the air useless as heat. Now, it also has to travel all the way from the power plant all the way to your home. And along the way, it's gonna lose a little bit more power. So you're not actually getting very much of the potential from your fuel into your home. Now, when you do this at home, our fuel cell stack is actually getting 38 to 39% electrical efficiency. And then you get 50 to 55% in hot water. So you capture almost 90% of the potential power of that fuel. You get to realize it and use it in your own home. And you do that because you're doing this on site, right in your backyard. Now it's a very efficient way of transforming fuel into power that you can use. So both of these products help contribute to bringing us towards a low carbon future. Incredible, but now you've made all this power. Are you using it exactly the same time you're making it? Not always. A lot of, a lot of the time you're watching TV at night, the sun is only shining during the day. It's okay, you can stash all that power away for later. Panasonic has made a residential storage battery. Now, Panasonic already makes 100 million of these little lithium ion batteries every year. You probably already have them in your laptop. And what that means is we're used to doing this. They're very reliable. They're a very high density way of storing energy. They're very safe and we're all set to make them. Now we put them into a module. 140 of these little cells in each module. It's 1.5 kilowatt hours module. Now, because it is modular, it's adaptable, it's scalable, it's adjustable, whatever your energy storage needs are, you can configure it to suit those needs. You can put it in a hybrid vehicle, you can put an electric motorcycle. Here, Panasonic has put six of them together and made a residential storage battery. So whatever your need for power storage, you'll be able to modularly meet it. Now you.